Atharam, the billionaire god across 400 ashrams in India and worldwide, will spend the rest of his life in jail for raping a schoolgirl, a court in Rajasthan said today. His spectacular rise in the 1990s was aided by political friends, who were drawn by the potential vote bank, Atharam's millions of followers. Born as Sumal Siramalani in Sindh in Pakistan, Atharam grew up in Ahmedabad, where he was forced to quit school early after his father's death. In 1972, he set up his first ashram on the banks of the river Sabarmati. From that height as a starting point, it took him four decades to gather an empire worth 10,000 rupees crore and 40 million followers. Since the days of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, High-profile politicians have been close to file politicians have been close to self-styled godmen to win voters. The gurus, in return, often gained considerable clout and have used it often to brazenly break the law. It was in the Congress regime in 90 was allotted 14,515 square meters of land. In 1997 and 1999, when the BJP was in power, he was allocated around 25,000 square meters of land to expand his ashrams in Gujarat. In Madhya Pradesh, the Congress government of Digvihya Singh gifted Atharam prime land in 1998. The Congress veteran is seen bowing to Atharam in photos. Nearly 15 years later, in 2013, Digvihya Singh publicly expressed regret about the land allotment, calling it a mistake. Known to his followers as Babaji, Atharam counted among his admirers former Union Minister Oma Bharti, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Raman Singh and Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasanara Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasanara Raj of the BJP and ex-ministers Kapil Sibyl, Kamal Nath, and Ashit Thehlot of the Congress.